As a college student, I was thrilled when I landed an affordable apartment in an old Victorian-style house. It had character, history, and best of all, it was mine to explore. However, there was one place I had yet to venture into, the attic. The attic door was located in the hallway right next to my bedroom. Every night, I would hear strange creaks and groans emanating from above, but I always brushed them off as the house settling. That is until one stormy evening when curiosity got the better of me. With the rain pelting against the windows and the thunder rumbling in the distance, I decided it was the perfect time to investigate. Armed with only a flashlight and a sense of adventure, I climbed the creaky stairs leading to the attic. The attic was dimly lit by the flashlight, casting eerie shadows on the dusty boxes and forgotten furniture. As I cautiously made my way through the clutter, I noticed something peculiar, a trap door hidden beneath a pile of old blankets. Heart pounding, I mustered up the courage to open it. To my surprise, it revealed a small crawl space, barely big enough for a person to squeeze through. Despite my apprehension, I couldn't resist the urge to explore further. Crawling through the narrow passage, I felt like I was entering another world. The air was thick with dust and the only sound was the pounding rain above. After what felt like an eternity, I emerged into a hidden chamber within the attic. What I saw took my breath away. The room was filled with ancient artifacts, strange symbols painted on the walls, and a sense of unease hung in the air. It was as if I had stumbled upon a forgotten shrine untouched by time. As I examined the artifacts, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. Suddenly, a loud crash echoed through the attic, causing me to jump in fright. I quickly scrambled back through the crawl space, my heart racing with fear. Once safely back in my apartment, I couldn't shake the feeling of dread that lingered in the air. Had I uncovered something sinister lurking in the attic, or was it simply my imagination running wild? To this day, I still wonder about the mysteries hidden within that old Victorian house. Though I may never know the truth, one thing is for certain. Some secrets are best left undisturbed. Nestled in the heart of an old forest, surrounded by towering trees that whispered secrets in the wind, stood an ancient cabin. Its weathered timbers creaked with age, and its windows were darkened by years of neglect. Few dared to venture near, for the locals whispered of a curse that plagued the land. But when Sarah inherited the cabin from her late grandmother, she saw it as an opportunity for solitude and reflection. Little did she know, the darkness that lurked within the cabin had other plans. As Sarah settled into her, her new home, she couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. Strange noises echoed through the walls at night, and shadows danced on the corners of her vision. But it wasn't until she stumbled upon the crawl space beneath the cabin that the true terror began. One stormy night, as lightning illuminated the sky, Sarah followed the sound of scratching to a hidden trapdoor beneath the floorboards. With trembling hands, she pried it open, revealing a narrow passage leading into the darkness. Ignoring the voice of reason that screamed for her to turn back, Sarah descended into the depths below. The air grew thick with the scent of damp earth and the walls seemed to close in around her, suffocating her with their oppressive presence. She pressed on, guided only by the dim glow of her flashlight. Sarah heard whispers echoing through the darkness. They spoke of ancient evils, of forgotten sins that stained the very foundation of the earth. But still, she pushed forward, driven by a morbid curiosity that she couldn't explain. Eventually, Sarah emerged into a cavernous chamber, its walls adorned with symbols of a bygone era. The air was heavy with a stench of decay, and the floor was littered with bones, grim testament to the horrors that lurked within. But it was what lay at the center of the chamber that filled Sarah with dread, a monstrous creature, its eyes blazing with unholy fire, lurked in the shadows, waiting to claim its next victim. With a scream of terror, Sarah turned to flee, but the crawlspace had vanished, leaving her trapped 
in the darkness with the creature closing in. As the echoes of her screams faded into the night, the forest reclaimed its silence and the cabin stood empty once more, a grim reminder of the horrors that lurked beneath its floorboards. Nestled in the heart of the countryside, shrouded by overgrown foliage and the whispers of the wind, stood a barn with a dark history. It loomed like a shadow against the backdrop of the rolling fields, its weathered facade a testament to the passage of time and the secrets it held within. Legend spoke of the barn as a place cursed by tragedy, a place where the spirits of the past lingered, trapped between the realms of the living and the dead. But when Jenna, a photographer with a fascination for the paranormal, stumbled upon the barn during her travels, she saw it as an opportunity to uncover the truth. Armed with her camera and a sense of trepidation, Jenna ventured into the barn, her footsteps echoing through the empty space like whispers in the night. As she explored the dimly lit interior, she felt the weight of history bearing down on her, a presence that seemed to watch every move. The air was heavy with a scent of hay and dust, and the only sound was the rustling of leaves outside and the faint echo of her own breathing. But beneath the silence, Jenna sensed something stirring, a presence that sent shivers down her spine. As she snapped photos of the decaying structure, Jenna felt a chill run through her veins. Shadows danced on the walls like specters of the past, their forms shifting and twisting in the dim light but it was the whispers that chilled her to the bone, faint murmurs that seemed to come from nowhere and everywhere all at once. Driven by a mixture of fear and fascination, Jenna pressed on, determined to capture evidence of the paranormal activity rumored to haunt the barn. But as she delved deeper into the darkness, she realized she was not alone. Figures began to materialize in the shadows, ghostly apparitions with hollow eyes and ethereal forms. They reached out to her with spectral hands, their voices haunting chorus of lost souls crying out for the release. With a trembling hand, Jenna snapped photo after photo, each flash of her camera illuminating the tortured faces of the spirits that surrounded her. But as she turned to flee, she felt a cold hand close around her wrist pulling her back into the darkness. In that moment, Jenna knew she had crossed a threshold from which there was no return. Trapped within the confines of the haunted barn, she became just another lost soul, condemned to wander its halls for all eternity. And as the sun rose on the quiet countryside, the barn stood silent once more, its secrets hidden behind boarded up windows and overgrown vines. But for those who dared to venture too close, the whispers of the past still lingered, a reminder of the darkness that dwelled within. <laughs>